Alright, so um, this video is going to be about the pros and cons of um, daycare. Day Ella has been in daycare since she was 9 weeks old and she is will be 10 months old in about a week. So she's been in, in daycare for 8 months now. So um, unfortunately I'm not able to stay at home with her. I am the breadwinner of the house so I'm not able to stay home with her. But I, she's in daycare only like three days out of the week, sometimes four, which we pay for an entire week, which is $160 or $150. So we pay for an entire week, but she's not there the entire week, which we'll get into that when we go into the cons section. But for now, I'll do the pros first. Some pros I've found out about daycare is that um, I tend to get a break sometimes if I'm off like on a Thursday daycare is open so I will take her to daycare for a couple hours so I can get some cleaning done or so that I can um, go grocery shopping or shopping really um, and it just gives me a small break so uh, daycare is nice for that um, they do uh, do little art projects which I think is really cute another crow um, they do like footprints and they make all kinds of things with like their hands and their feet with paint and um, they do like Father's Day cards like my husband got a Father's Day card with Ella's feet on it and had a little cute saying on it um, and they do like um, like for Valentine's Day I think they did like the feet on a heart and and like they post them like on the, the glass window so that you can see them when you come in um, they do do um, just all kinds of things like little things hanging from the wall like um and we took in some pictures for them to put on like a little um like a little piece of cardboard and then like they put the pictures on there and they put her like name and the birthday and then like everybody can see them and it's really cute so they did that for every single baby in there and um then they have like um like little things posted up with their names as well of uh, just you know just different things but anyways um, the next thing I was going to talk about is they also work on development um, so whether as you're trying to do it at home they also do it in daycare um, they will do tummy time with them and um, they'll spend they'll they'll spend a little time with them working on some of their skills like walking and crawling and that kind of thing um, my daycare has a program now that they're doing it's absolutely free to you they um i guess it's about every month or so they they look at your child to see where they are developmentally and if they see that they're developmentally behind then they let you know and they do like another test or something um and then they suggest to you um what you should do like physical therapy or something like that you know if your child's not walking by a certain time and they're supposed to be I know they walk between like 12 and 18 months but if it's been you know if it's over 18 months or something like that um, then they go and they do physical therapy with the child and they do it during daycare so you don't have to bring them to another facility to do that kind of thing like you just it's right there in daycare which is really great because you know I mean you don't have to like go all over creation like once you get off from work at like you know, three or four, which this is not my normal schedule. I work night shift, but save for my husband who gets off at like three or three or four, sometimes even five thirty. Um, ouch. Uh, then he can just you know go with her, home with her, and um, I lost my train of thought there because my back was itching. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so. Uh, that's a, it's a great thing that they do at they care. The other thing is um, socialization and um, I think that it's it's great for kids to be able to be other around other kids um, all day. She um, she has a couple little friends in there that she likes to sit on the floor with and play. She doesn't really play with them but um, when I was in there the other day I, I sat her down on the floor with um, some other little kids and she just looked at one little kid and she was just like laughing and and doing her arms like this at him. It was really cute. So um, she is getting some socialization and, and being around other kids and 
Um, the other thing was when she first um, was was in daycare, she was not sleeping well during the night at all. I would be up at like till three in the morning with her. She would just cry and cry and cry because she'd sleep all day. So um, anyways, but she um, went, once she went to daycare, she was around other kids and the other kids were like playing and she was watching them and they were squealing, keeping her up and everything. Um, she was up more during the day and she actually started sleeping at night. So that helped us out a lot. Um, so there's the pros for daycare that I have found. These are my pros. <laughs> you may have other pros, but, um, now the cons, and I might have to make this a two part series, but we all hope not. The cons would be that they like to have the kids on their routine. And so, um, they do make you pay for an entire week because they encourage you to bring them there the entire week. But, um, unfortunately, I like to be with my child sometimes during the week because I'm off, you know, and so I want to be with them or be with her. Um, so they want, they want to get them into their own routine, which my routine at home for her is different than their routine that they do. So, you know, we've had problems with this. They want to feed her a bottle at like 11 o'clock and then turn around and feed her a solid food at like 12, not even like an hour later. She's not going to eat her solid and they just toss it in the trash. They throw an entire container of baby food into the trash. I mean, that's, you know, 50 cents or 60 cents, but still that's, you know, when you're on a budget, yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, I have told them not to feed her. Um, if they feed her a bottle of 11 or 12 to feed her her solid food at 2. Now we don't have any problems with that because she does not eat that bottle any, or drink that bottle anymore. We only give her three bottles a day, which is one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. So we have cut her, her bottles down. Um, and sometimes she'll eat an extra bottle at night. And she'll wake up in the middle of the night and want an extra bottle. Um, but we have found that since doing that, we she eats more Rosala and there's less of it wasted. Um, the other thing is with the diapers and the wipes and all that and supplying them with those kind of things, I have a fear that they will supply, like if another child runs out of the diapers or the wipes, they'll supply that child with my child's diapers or wipes. Because I'm really good about keeping up with, you know, giving them diapers and wipes, whereas they are not, whereas some other parent is not and then you know I have to make up for it that's just that's just wrong but um, I don't know of any instances like that yet but um, I hope that never comes up um, now when I first went went there I was giving them frozen breast milk and um, I was letting them thaw it out and then put it in the bottle well she would only drink like three ounces and so there was six ounces in one bag so what they would do is they'd thaw that bag and then they'd dump the rest once an hour or two was up. And it's like, no, you don't do that, you know. That's, that is like liquid gold. Do not throw breast milk out. Um, so I was a little angry about that, so I stopped sending frozen breast milk and just sent it pre-made in the bottles. Um, it made it a little harder on us, but we did not waste a lot of breast milk. Um, the next thing I would talk about, I will talk about is colds and flus. I don't know how many times Ella has gotten sick. It's like she's sick every single month with some kind of runny nose or cough or, you know, something like that. Um, and she's had a, a bout of diarrhea. So I think she's had like some kind of stomach bug. Um, so, um, we have gotten her the seasonal flu shot because we don't want that to be breaking out in daycare and her get sick. I mean, she might still get sick, but it won't be as bad. Um, so I'm going to stop the video now because it's at nine minutes and some odd seconds. So I will continue with the next one.